What's up guys, Joey here. I just wanted to share a couple of really awesome and major tweaks to fix Windows 11's release version. Uh, I've been on the beta insider preview uh, for a few months now and now I'm on the 22,000.194 release candidate, which I think is the one getting pushed out to the public. And there are some major, well, I call them major because they're really inconvenient, but basically major uh ease of use bugs with Windows 11 that I would actually say hold off, wait for the fixes to most people. But now that I've found these mitigations, I could actually say, oh, well, as long as you do this, it's fine. Um, so basically in terms of usage and gaming performance, there's nothing wrong with Windows 11, apart from multitasking if you have File Explorer open in the background where there's a rather serious bug where your window drag speed will lag like crazy. So you'll drag a window and you'll you'll like have forgotten that you had File Explorer open. You can have VLC open, you know, other applications, basically anything that has hardware acceleration. And when you go to drag these other windows or even just your browser window, you'll get like a massive delay where your mouse has already finished moving. You've like stopped moving your mouse, but it's it's delayed by like five seconds. So I'll give you an example here Um, because I haven't got the fix enabled. I disabled it for this video. Um, I've got File Explorer open in full screen mode in the back. I've got uh, Radeon open, and it doesn't have to be Radeon. It can just be, you know, my browser. But just as an example, I'll go to drag this window. And I've already let go of the mouse. So this movement you're seeing is the bug. And it is a pretty major bug, uh, considering how many people might actually encounter this uh, BS. I don't know how they could even think of... Because this has been present in multiple builds. It's not just the release candidate. It's been like all the beta channel builds have had this bug. And it is frustrating as heck because you'll the main reason you'll encounter it is because if you're if you're like me and you multitask, you might have forgotten your file explorer is open because you were like opening a file or doing something, right? You'll have it minimized like that. And when you go to open a window, you'll go to drag and half screen it uh, for multitasking. You know, you'll go to drag it to the left of your screen. And I've already let go of the mouse ages ago, and it's still it's doing the laggy thing. Uh, it's doing the drag lag bug. So as you can see there, now it's finally you know. But that is super frustrating. But when you click like that, it's fine. Uh, there's probably shortcuts to do it, but I don't use them. I, I normally just drag my windows to the left and the right of the screen so I can have split screen down the middle. And yeah, so it is a major bug. And the other issue with Windows 11, if you use uh, certain unzipping programs, uh, doesn't well, really any unzipping program that uses the context menu, is when you'll go to right click, you want to get to your zipping tool or whatever option you normally use. You have to click show more options to get to the normal menu. So even here, I've got no Radeon software. If I wanted to use the right click shortcut, I have to click show more and click Radeon software. There's a fix for that too, um, which is pretty awesome. So basically the fix is to download win arrow tweaker and click this click here to download, not the ad. That's a, you know, that's some crappy, uh, sneaky app, but click here to download the file and it'll download a zip file. If you don't have an unzipping program uh, and you're like, kind of like a new user, you're just encountering this bug, um, go to Google and search for 7-Zip and install that program. It's a program you download and 7-Zip will allow you to unzip this file and I'll just show you exactly how to do it. So just for example, just really quick, 7-Zip is what I recommend for everyone to use because it is a um, archive program that is freeware. So it's not like WinRAR or Wins, uh, what are the other ones? There's some really popular ones that go back like 10 years uh, that a lot of people still use, but they're all trial versions. And this thing has the functionality of those programs, but it's just streamlined. There's no trial. You know, it's free. So, you know, get the 64 bit or the 32. Uh, they'll both work. I, I guess the 64 would be better because most people would be on a 64 bit OS, but they'll both run on a 64 bit system. Um, download the EXE, run, run that and install it. Just follow the prompts. And then after you've installed it, you'll get a new context menu in your File Explorer where just go to your download folder wherever you've downloaded uh, WinArrow Tweaker. I find it's a bit messy. And in here, did I download it to here? So I don't even know if I re-downloaded WinArrow Tweaker. Just to show you, because uh, I don't want to just suggest it and then people will be like, could it be a dodgy app? It's not a dodgy app. It works perfectly fine. 
Um, so win arrow tweaker, then you'll right click it. And this is how 7-zip works. And this is part of the new context menu. That It's just a reskin over the old skin. And it, that's what annoys me so much. Yes, there's nice buttons. But if I want to get to my context menus, um, it's all here. Like even if I want to scan with Windows Defender, they haven't even implemented that. It is really uh, kind of lazy how they've done this. And it, it's, it's kind of annoying because this is a Microsoft design decision and they're supposed to be the experts. But anyway, 7-zip and extract to win arrow tweaker. I've already got an extract, uh, extract present. And then that'll give you the installer. So basically we were, we were unpacking the archive or decompressing. And so this is the setup.exe that you want to run. And it'll give you two options. If you're a more tech savvy user and you know how to, you know how your folders are organized, you can just use a portable mode. This will put all of the files in a single folder without adding anything to your start menu. And you can just run the, um, the tweakers from the folder that you extract to. The other option is to just install it like a normal program. I recommend this for any users that are uh, less tech savvy, like you're a bit more inexperienced. Just use it as a normal program and it'll work fine too. Um, I do have the portable mode because uh, I like I just like it that way because I keep a program folder where I bring it between multiple systems. And so WinRS Tweak is here in my programs folder. And you just run the tweaker.exe or WinRS Tweaker. You might not have the uh, extension showing. And you can see how awesome this fix is. Now, the reason behind the bug is something to do with a new material they've added into the theme or the UI of Windows 11 and this material is apparently like I, I'm not really experienced on this side of the of, of Windows but apparently it's, it's kind of like how they added the arrow theme back in one of the older Windows when they first introduced arrow it's a new material called Mika so as you can see here the window that File Explorer opens in is using a different uh, animation like the, the graphic is different so this border is apparently the me the new Mika uh, type of Windows 11 theme and this window over here, I don't think it's using Mika. Um, it looks different. It's just pure black. And this is what we want. We want just the old old material. We want the standard material. We don't want the new uh, Windows 11 one because that is what is causing the drag lag issue. I don't know exactly why it's causing the issue. They just they've just added this new material and it bugs out somehow. Uh, maybe to do with hardware acceleration. So to fix it, you just go to enable ribbon here and. For some reason, enabling the old school ribbon in Winero Tweaker will change the material from Mika back to whatever they used before. And that fixes the bug. So I'm just going to do it live on, on video. You click the checkbox, and this is completely reversible. There's a ton of other cool tweaks in here that you can take a look at, and all of the tweaks have an explanation. If you click on like a tweak, you can literally click see in detail how this tweak works and it'll open a web page telling you exactly what it's doing. So it's, you know, they're not trying to hide anything or just do random stuff. So enable the ribbon and then it'll have an option restart explorer that'll get rid of your bottom bar will disappear for a second. It doesn't hurt anything. Just hit restart explorer. And you can see I'm enabling the tweak right now on camera. And that's done basically. So now when I open file explorer, the material, see how the ribbon's back? This is the old school interface, the old school, um, header and see how it's all dark black. This is not Mika anymore. This is the the, the Windows 10, basically, uh, File Explorer header or window. And now look at the snappiness. It's, it's back to normal. Nothing is lagging. See that? So I can maximize. And I've tested this for a while. I gave it a few hours because sometimes the bug can take a while to appear and it's not returning with this enable ribbon um, tweak. So this is more of a mitigation. It's not a complete fix because Microsoft have to fix that Mika material or get rid of it uh, for themselves. But for now, it is definitely better than nothing. So you can see that. And one more cool tweak is the classic full context menus. And this is where, for those of you like me, that you like your 7-zip, you like your context menus, um, where we go to right-click, uh, even to right-click a zip file that I just did before. If I have a zip file here, I have to go show more 7-zip to get to my context menu. And this will get rid of the show more. It gets rid of this new uh, new right-click icon stuff, like the metrified, whatever it is. So enable the old school context menu. And now when I right-click the desktop, I've got my you know my normal right-click menu. 
and when I go into my downloads folder and I want to unzip something, I can just go straight there. I don't have to. I don't have to use an extra click, which adds up over you know a few months or weeks or months. So yeah, um, that is awesome because I there was registry uh, tweaks that just didn't work anymore, and I thought oh like I just have to give up on it. But yeah, this app's awesome. So Win Arrow Tweaker, I'll link this down in the comments, and I hope this fixes it for you guys too. And you know, if not, I'm sorry. Like it might, there might be other issues at work that I know there are other causes behind some of the bugs, but I think this is one of the primary ones because, you know, this is just a this is the 22,000.194 build. So anyway, um, which is the release build? So, uh, yeah, hope that helps you out and have a good one. Cheers.